Welcome back to Fresh. We're on our design portion of today's show, and we are back in Garbers in downtown Elkhart. And with me is Jonathan Tuff. How are you doing this week? Good, Courtney. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. And about a month ago, we were here, and we were talking color, and you said you got a lot of comments about, we talked about what was trendy and kind of talking about that, and we're going to talk more today. But let's, you know, fast rewind, if we, okay. not fast forward, rewind, about what we talked about. What colors are, are there any newer colors out, or is it still the same? Still a lot of the reds, the browns and ice blues, mm -hmm. kind of your reds, purple, your blouse, those colors, <laughs> you're right there. That's kind of where it's going right now in the market. Um, just came back from a show for holiday. Christmas is going to be really big in browns and ice blues and teals. Those are the colors. And then also you'll see a lot of your really bright um, royal blue, teal, red, and hot pink. Those are kind of our big holiday colors coming up this year. It's really fun that they're changing that around more of the traditional green and red and burgundies. and Still out there, still beautiful, but these new, co new colors are fun. So looking into the fall and the winter, the colors are still going to be, the scheme is still going to be the same. Right. Just maybe a little deeper tone, not quite as bright as, not quite as springy of a color, <laughs> but more of a fall tone to it. Tone it yeah. down a little bit. Right. <laughs> so today we have some uh, palettes here and let's talk a little bit about it. There's different schemes that colors have and how you can use them. Right. First, everything's based off of the color wheel and your color wheel comes with your primary colors. And those are your colors that are pure and natural. Your secondary colors are colors that are made by your primary colors when you mix evenly together. And then you've got your third set of colors, which kind of everything's mixed together to start making those. Mm -hmm. But then you can work to, when you're deciding a scheme. You can kind of do a single color scheme, which would be, say we picked this orangey red color. Right. Your single color would all base off of this. Okay. So your rooms would be very harmonious very calming and it, even you know even if you do it in a red it's still going to be calmer because everything blends together then you can do your um contrasting colors i mean since we were talking christmas let's do that <laughs> right. red and green okay. those are the opposites on the wheel okay. those are going to give you energy and you come up with some really unusual schemes out of that that's really um great for a little more fun mm -hmm. your next way is next to each other on the color wheel taking three colors using those and that works really well say you're doing a living room a kitchen and a family room mm -hmm. you can kind of blend the three together that way and it, it it gives you a little bit of energy a little bit of fun but still is harmonious then you've got your fourth way which <laughs> is pulling from this side that side and the other side they're very dynamic mm -hmm. kind of almost like doing your primary colors on three walls Show me an example here. Right. A red wall and a blue wall. And, you know, I would think it might look, kind of, I think in my head I'm thinking kindergarten room, but it looks really, really good. And it just depends on what style you do and what, um, what you want the room to look like, mm -hmm. what you're going to pick. Yeah. So with this um, color wheel here, there's a lot of things you can do with it and not to be afraid of it at all because it's very simple. Like you said, you know, the one you can pick one color and go to the left or to the right or... Whatever it may be. And you can decide, you know, if you want your room to be a bedroom, mm -hmm. calm. Maybe you'll go into the blues, soft greens. Um, if you want spiritual or very regal, mm -hmm. your purples. Okay. If you want energy and vibrance, uh, kitchen, red. If you want people to eat a lot. <laughs> you know, um, the, those, those bright colors. Yellow's kind of a calming color. So you kind of pick your colors also for that, too. Pick inspiration from things you love. Mm -hmm. Use that to decide where you want to go with your color. And I think we might see that in an, another episode. We'll uh, put this into play. <laughs> so colors evoke emotion is what we're saying here. And you want to have fun with it and do, you know, do different kind of schemes, exercise those, if you will. And you have those, so you, you know, you were talking about the colors. Red, you do or do not want in a kitchen? Red will make people hungrier. <laughs> so if you like people to eat a lot in your house, you know, you cook a lot, do red. If you know, you want to watch weight or something? Don't put red in your kitchen. It's going to make you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's very interesting. I've heard that throughout the years, but it really is true. So you need to be careful with that. So lots of different schemes, lots of different colors. And next week, let's tease a little bit what we're going to talk about. Let's put it all into action. Okay. Let's find our inspiration and kind of see how we um, put two room together and pull colors and make it all blend together. Great. Well, I can't wait. Well, next week we'll be doing that with Jonathan here at Garber's, and stay tuned. We'll be back after a short break.